Hey y'all, Irix Guy here and wanted to chat some more about the Mavic 2 Enterprise. Now a lot of y'all have sent me comments by way of Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Pinterest. Well, not too many from Pinterest, but quite a few from Instagram. And just asking me, they're like, hey man, when's the uh, Mavic 2 Enterprise going to release? What's the Mavic 2 Enterprise going to do? And what I want to do within this video is just, uh, oh there's Sean Coonery, the enormous Maine Coon cat. Look at that. So uh, one of the requirements, the Mavic 2 Enterprise definitely needs to be smaller than Sean Coonery, the enormous Maine Coon cat, because you know having a drone that big and that heavy is obviously not optimal to travel with. And that was one of my fears early on when, uh, when at that point in time, the DJI Phantom was our best choice for portability. And then DJI came out with the Inspire, which is so big and so heavy. And I was afraid that the industry may be going in that direction, and that wasn't good because I was already a little bit uncomfortable traveling with the DJI Phantom. You know, it's not too big and it's not too heavy, but it's definitely not optimal. I mean, especially when you're talking about traveling, you've typically got other stuff with you. You're probably out and about. You know, you may be on a moped or a... Or a uh, or a motorcycle or you may just be on foot and you may not be able to lug around that much weight all day. So when they came out with Mavic Pro, Mavic Pro obviously was a game changer. Mavic Pro is not my favorite uh, for the sole reason that uh, that I can get better performance for what I do out of the Mavic Air because the autofocus, whoa, the 4K video with autofocus on the Mavic Air, absolutely rock solid for me. There's no tap to focus requirement. And I know that's something that was tuned with uh, more recent Mavic Pro firmware updates, but having to tap to focus for me was a deal breaker because sometimes I would forget. And sometimes if I tap to focus, sometimes it wasn't optimally focused. And you know, if you're in this for the video, you know, having a good time filming drone videos for YouTube, you know, you get something that's not well focused, it doesn't matter what the environment is, it's going to be less watchable. So I think that uh, Mavic 2 Enterprise can really bring something great. Now, they're going to have to be careful with Mavic 2 Enterprise because if they try to price it too high, it's probably going to backfire. I know that myself, for example, if the Mavic 2 Enterprise is, is too expensive, I'm not even going to mess with it because Mavic Air is great. You know, Mavic Air is my favorite drone on the market today. And with that being said, I think there's a lot of opportunity for improvement that Parrot could put into play with an upcoming version of the Anafi. Parrot Anafi 1 impressed me, but Parrot Anafi 1 had a lot of pitfalls that if I was personally releasing a production product, I would have made sure those problems didn't exist. And the, big deal, the biggest deal breaker for me with the Anafi was the, uh, the inability to format micro SD cards. And I mean, that's a pretty big oversight. So yeah, Mavic, uh, Mavic 2 Enterprise, you know, I wanna know what do y'all think? What do y'all need from Mavic 2 Enterprise? What does the Mavic Pro not do for you? What does the Mavic Air not do for you that you would like to see in the Mavic 2 Enterprise? Because, you know, inevitably, it's become a situation where there's so many drones, and I love that there's a lot of drones coming out because there for a while, and I, I'm sure y'all remember the, the little uh, slow period as well, there was nothing. It was like chipmunks, or not chipmunks, but uh, crickets. You know, there was nothing. And it was just a wait, 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 what's coming out? But at least now, because of companies like Parrot with the Parrot and Afi, because of companies like Altel with the Altel Evo, they've at least reinvigorated the drone space. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that we're over the hump because in the beginning with drones, hobbyists were plagued by unfair perception issues. And I'm hoping that because drones have been out for a while now that hopefully the less than responsible people with the funds necessary to get a drone, hopefully those people are staying out of it. And hopefully now we'll have positivity, safe, and responsible drone use. And hopefully we'll see this hobby continue to more rapidly evolve. 
because there for a while I was getting nervous. I'm like, man, you know, these things could become banned at an international level if people aren't careful. And it's such a fun thing. It's such a, it's, it's, uh, I wouldn't go as far as to say it's like the internet because when the internet came out, that was cool. You know, before that I was just running a multi-node bulletin board service with dial up modems. And I thought I was pretty cool doing that. But then the internet came out and then I started building my own internet servers and playing with internet relay chat, setting up IRC chat servers, all kinds of fun stuff. And drones are the same thing. You know, you get in early, you get to see the, the pretty much proof of concept technologies. And then you see it evolve to where it's already evolved today. You know, gimbal stabilized video, 4K video. I mean, just absolutely outstanding uh, app interface. I mean, it's just, it's going to get better. It's going to get better. And that's the thing. I think with Mavic 2 Enterprise, you know, it's a situation where they've already got an awesome product, the Mavic Air. And how are they going to make that better? You know, how are they going to convince people like myself to feel that, that we need to jump on board with the Mavic 2 Enterprise? You know, what's that feature? What's at the top of your ask list? for Mavic 2 Enterprise. I'll go ahead and tell you what some of my asks are. Number one, USB recharging capability at a somewhat decent speed. Number two, a zoom camera. That's something Parrot and Afi brought to, this, brought to the table. I've never experienced a zoom camera on a drone before. Never thought it would be useful, never thought it would be fun, but it opened up an entirely new realm of opportunity for filming 4K aerial videos. So I'd like to see I'd like to see Zoom. Obstacle avoidance, I don't really care about. I think it's good if it's on there, if it doesn't increase the price, because I think from a perception perspective, it makes people assume that a drone is more safe. And I think that's a good thing for the drone hobby as a whole. But I don't personally feel that it's necessary. So I'd like to see two versions. I'd like to see a much more affordable version that just focuses upon top quality camera top quality battery life, top quality performance. You know, I don't care about obstacle avoidance. I just want something that'll capture rock solid, bleeding edge, 4K 30, preferably 4K 60 or better video. So, you know, that's, that's my primary requirement. And something that's in a small, lightweight and extremely portable package, yet heavy enough to where it can handle substantial wind. Because a lot of the flights that I do, they're over the ocean. There's a lot of wind, and if you've ever been out over the ocean, you know when you go out and when you come back, the wind's different. <laughs> so check your batteries, because if you're flying with the wind initially, you know, you're going to go really fast because the wind's going to be pushing it. But if you're coming back through the wind, if you didn't anticipate that, <laughs> you may, you, your battery may die because you may run out of juice because it's having to work so much harder and it's taking longer to get back. So take that into consideration. But again, that's something I want with Mavic 2 Enterprise is the ability for it to handle substantial wind because that's where I fly a lot is out over the ocean. So and other ask, you know, I'd love to have I would love to have an integrated screen in the controller. You know, putting in my iPhone is it just feels last century. I don't want to have to deal with an iPhone. I want an integrated screen and that's something that GoPro Karma did really well. I feel that the GoPro Karma remote and integrated screen was great. If DJI could engineer something like that with light bridge communications technologies, technology rather, that would be super cool. So, and another thing, and this is just kind of a weird ask, but I would love to have a uh, water, a heavily water resistant drone. You know, how many times you've been flying, it started raining, you know, not, a, not an unsafe downpour or storm, but just a very light rain. You know, how nice would it be to have something that could fly in, uh, in the rain? That'd be great and obviously a modular camera. So there's a lot of stuff I have on the ask list and I uh, just wanted to share this with y'all. What do y'all want to see from the Mavic 2 Enterprise? Comment within the link, uh, comment within the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel. Click that bell icon because you click that bell icon anytime I post another video, you'll be notified. And stay tuned for uh, upcoming Epic Drone Show live events. Got my little dr Epic Drone Show collared shirt on here and you can check out epicdroneshow.com go to store and go to merch and you can choose to buy your own epic drone show swag and i got all the drones and drone accessories there too 
Thanks for watching and y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, I Rick Sky here. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe, like, and share. It's viewers like you that enable my channel to continue to grow. Thank you.